running for senator? Are you running for senator? Kakalabanin niyo po ang anak ninyo, sir? Kakalabanin niyo po ang anak ninyo? Sir? Nag-file na, sir. Kanina, sir. Kanina, sir. Sumasagot sa presidente. Sumasagot eh. Samante, babalik. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Babalik, presidente. Samante, para mag-file. Alright, so ganito ang nangyari. Pumasok si Pangulo at si Bongo, nag-withdraw ganyan. Tapos nilapitan sila ni TV5 reporter May Anlos Baños. Tapos tinanong niya, Sir, pengi naman ng parang something like, Sir, pengi naman ng statement. Tatakbo ba kayong senator? Ang sagot ni Pangulo, Pangulo tatakbo akong vice. Tapos, Sumingit si Martin Andanar ang sabi, Vice President. Tapos, di syempre, yung reporter na loka, na windang. Anong Vice President? Kaka, siguro sa isip ng rip ni Mayan Los Baños, ano yan? Sa likod ng utak niya, ano? Siguro sa isip ni Mayan, ha? Eh, anak mo tatakbong Vice President? Kaka-substitute lang kanina. Tapos, ang sagot ni ano, Mr. President, hindi ko alam. Anak ko, nag-file ba? Nag-file na ba? What's very clear here, eh, hinahawi, pinipigil si May Anlos Baños na mag... Dalawa possibility rito eh. Dalawa possibility. Either, kasi very recent yan eh, information has a way of, ano eh, leaking through cracks eh. Yan ang totoo dyan. So, however, given yung time frame ng mga pangyayari, that Inday Sara filed mga two hours prior dito, marami opportunity na hindi ipaalam kay Presidente to. Maraming opportunity. Mal mal madali lang po na hindi ipaalam sa kanya, lalo na at grabe yung cordon niya. Nakita nyo, ang sabi ni Presidente, yung anak ko, nag-file ba? So he was kept in the dark. He was not informed. Huwag na yung chess game, chess game na yan. Guys, sabi ko nga, dalaw, ano eh, basic na razors. Una, Hanlon's razor. When you analyze, Hanlon's razor, do not ascribe to malice what can be sufficiently explained by stupidity. Yun yung paborito kong gamitin. Do not ascribe to malice what can be sufficiently explained by stupidity. Pero meron pang isa, yung mas simple na version. Occam's razor. Ano yun? The simplest explanation is the best. Instead of resorting to conspiracy theories, let's just ano... Let's just adopt the simplest explanation that he was not told about it. And the fact lang na pinipigil yung mga reporter, eh kung sarswela ni Pangulong Duterte yan, kung isa na naman niya sa anong kanyang mga political tactics, eh ba't kailangan siyang pigilan kung he's in on it? Bakit kailangan siya? Bakit kailangan siya guys na ano? Ikordon pa, palayuin yung mga reporter. Nakita mo reporter, sabi ni Mian Los Baños, sumasagot yung tao, oh, sumasagot. So are you telling me? Are you telling me na kasa, ano, kasabwat si Pangulong Duterte dito? Eh kung kasabwat siya dyan, ba't kailangan pigilin yung reporter? Contradiction yun. Ulitin lang natin yung part ha. nila Senator Bato de la Rosa at mo ang kasama nila so but again, hindi natin sure for maybe sir? sir? ano yung sir? ano yung sir? 
Mr. President, do you have a statement, sir? Why are you here? Bakit pa sinamahan niyo sila, sir? Mr. Statement, uh, Mr. President, do you have a statement, sir? Why are you here? Ba't sinamahan niyo? Nakikita niyo yung nilalayo sa kanya yung microphone? Sige lang. Any statement, sir? Any statement? Any statement, sir? Any statement? Tiyan niyo, oh. Winawas, nilalayo yung mga reporter sa kanya. Sige lang. At this point, at this point, medyo acceptable pa yan. Kasi you cannot go too near the president. You know, that's kind of a given. Sige lang, sakyan muna natin. Sabi niya, ako na po ang assistant ngayon. So, it's just the usual Duterte trying to be coy about it. Eh, palabiro naman talaga yan. So, nothing spectacular yet. Ito yung very interesting na part. Singit ng singit, itong si Martin Andanar, eh, hindi naman siya yung tinatanong. Sekretary Andanar, nakaharap si presidente sa reporter. Bakit mo binablock yung reporter? Eh, 